What is up guys? Welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. Today I uh, kind of decided to take a random trip. I am going to go fish a creek that I found on Google Maps. I have pre-scouted the area already and it's kind of a drive to get to as far as like I'm gonna have to do some off-roading and then there is a concrete bridge that used to be there and with the floods this year from this lake right here uh, it got washed out so I think I'm going to be able to park on it uh, not the washout part but there is a place to park there and I will show that to you guys when we get there uh, I've never fished this creek before I hope that there is some smallmouth in this creek and I got the live well in the back just in case we're going to uh, catch any smallmouth I can put them in there I doubt there's going to be any big fish on this creek unless you know I get lucky so fingers crossed we'll see what happens come on and join me on this adventure I will uh, show you guys the road here in a sec oh they filled it in I guess I'll park over here all right guys as I was mentioning this is the uh, washout area. They filled it in with a bunch of rock right here. And um, the water's up pretty good. I don't see any signs of fish, but this big outflow through here. Sorry, that's kind of loud. I might go down there and fish a little bit. Super clear. I don't see any fish, but let's go check out the waterfall. Guys, check this out. This is amazing. Check out this waterfall right here. I'm gonna fish this pool for a little bit and see if there's anything in there. Let's flip this up to that moving water, see what happens. I'm gonna go up top and see if I can sight fish a little bit better. Plus there's lots of water up there. Ooh, that's a little cold. Woo! It's colder in the deeper parts. A bunch of flat table rock right here. Bunch of shad right there. If I had to guess, the water's about 70 degrees. There's something going on right here. Oh my gosh, that's not what I wanted. Jeez, he choked that thing. Oh my God, he's slimy. Of course, I don't have my pliers with me. That's not what I was going for. Jumped out from behind a rock right there. Well, it's a good thing I brought flip-flops. These are working very well. Well guys, I don't want to get too far up creek. Everything's really shallow. 
and everything was kind of dammed back at the road so I think I'm gonna head across that way I'll fish the waterfall a little bit more before I go but there's just not much going on right here it's not deep at all it's like ankle deep so not gonna walk that far when I know what's back at the other side high flowing deeper water might have a small mouth in it I really wanted to come up here first and check everything out because everything looks so cool getting far away from all my gear too so I need to get back and check on that hopefully no one else finds it what is this that's wicked looking that spider in it look like a fossil pretty hard pressed for time too so I don't want to make the wrong decision hiking a mile in the wrong direction I did drive over a bridge that uh, this creek was on on the way in and it looked a lot of the same shallow rocky not much going on that way so it's a good chance you know with how well it's flowing they really got pushed to that lower part where the water is pooling so I don't think that's gonna be a bad place to go check out be careful not to roll an ankle I got my polarized glasses on it's helping out a lot So yeah, hopefully I can get up top here, the fish can't see me, and I can pull a fish out of this waterfall. This is really cool, guys. This would be like a really cool spot just to come drink beer. There's a bass. Bass just chased it. Came out of the rocks right there. Can't get too distracted by that bass. Hiking and flip-flops, not the best. guys a bass look at that little large mouth woohoo put it on the score tracker see you later guy he had that for a hot minute I didn't want to set the hook too early on him because it takes him a while to swallow it because they're so small only if I could find his big brother all right, I'm going to try something else. These fish are too small for that Ned rig. What do we got here? got a what do we got here I believe that's a white bass yes 
white bass score tracker I think I, I got the I got the rhythm now boys I got the rhythm now boys those guys a break for a second a hole back here I wanted to check I don't think it's much of a hole though Another largey. Look at that little guy. This is my new smallest fish ever right here. It beat the one I had in California. Got him. Lost him. Another one. Ooh. He's okay. He's okay, guys. They're slippery and tiny and hard to hold on to. Head down there for a little bit. Daylight's almost over. I get too far down there. Good bass population. All right, let's get off of those dings there. All oh, these snakes. There's like a hundred of them. There's a lot. There's a lot in here. That one felt decent compared to the other ones. There we go. Different species. That might be a wiper. I think it's a wiper. If I get a fish tank anytime soon, I know where to come get my bass. Get some nice little baby ones. Oh, another one. This one a white bass. Lines aren't as thick. Largy. So many babies. I'm looking for the bigs though. 
I need the big cell. I'm gonna have to backpack this next time. Do it like one rod, one reel style. Large mouth. That one was a bigger one. Is it because it came out of a bigger hole? Who knows? It's pretty dark and deep over there. Large mouth. I can't believe I haven't seen a spot yet. The lake that this goes into is not known for spots though. What do you got here? Looks like a coyote track. It's a horse track too. Horse and dog. It's actually horses and dogs down here. I wonder if they're hunting coons. Hunting coons on the creek. Large mouth. Oh. Get out of here. Get out of here. Large mouth. Look at the shelf falling off right here. That's crazy. Big old slab of rock. Look at that bridge, guys. That's cool. Ooh, this one feels nice. This one's nice. What is it? Holy crap. Look at that bluegill. Whoa, what a tank. I hooked him in his nose. Holy crap. Look at that guy. My God. Look at that. See ya. Back to the depths. That might have been a PB bluegill. I'm just gonna go ahead and set it what say it was. That was a big bite, whatever that was. Compared to these little bass. Oh, I saw a fish. There, that one. Oh! What's this? Oh, it's a nice bass. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Look at this, guys. Look at that. Awesome creek bass. Look at that thing.
it's about 1.5 it's about as big as Dennis Rodman the guy I put in the pond the other day man I want to keep this I'm too far away from the truck though I'm gonna let him go awesome fish guys awesome fish Look at that. First a bluegill, now a bass. Man, this this sharp drop ledge right here is money. Just throw it against that. There's a bite. Another bluegill. Another good size one. Not as big as that last one, but man, he's huge. These bluegill need to go into the pond. Oh, that was a bass. That was a bass. That was a good sized bass. There he is again. He's not committing on it. Oh, he took the worm off of it. You know, when it's in its mouth, I'm not hook setting it because. He's not committing on it very hard. Oh, what a mess. Oh no. Oh no, I have a rod fiasco. Oh, what a rod fiasco. Might have to switch to fly fishing. Alright, I better head back because I definitely ruined all this. Definitely got out of there just in time. All those thunderstorms are coming. And uh, it's supposed to rain all weekend, so that kind of sucks. All right, guys, back here at the Casa. It got dark out there pretty quick, so I uh, decided to do my closer at home. I drove up the road and checked out the bridge that I showed you guys earlier, and this is uh, what I found. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see me or not, but uh, I drove up to this bridge that I was talking about and uh it's pretty steep but i think i can hike down there somehow here's a uh, one inlet side right here and it goes down off over to here and right over there around that bend right there is where i caught that bass so a uh, pretty cool little area um, it's gonna be one hell of a hike from here i'm not sure how i'm gonna do this it might be smarter just to hike back up the creek because uh it's a pretty big drop off over here so here's that bridge right there i don't know how much you guys can see but yeah it's probably smarter i just hike up the creek that's uh that's too much climbing that's steep especially if you're gonna wear flip-flops or uh water shoes or anything like that so so yeah, I'm not gonna go park at that bridge and try to hike down that deep cliff. It's uh, gonna be easier just to walk back there like I did before. Um, it really sucks, I ran out of time. The water was getting deeper the further west that I went and those bass were sitting in those deep pools. Everything else was too shallow for them to be hanging out in. So west is the way to go. I can't wait to get back out there and see what else is there. The waterfall was definitely a sight to see. 
not very good fishing around there though everything was too shallow so hope you guys enjoyed it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and i will see you guys on the next red beard outdoors episode remember get outdoors and keep fishing see you guys later